Right now, it's interesting because the odds opened up basically as a pick em, but within an hour, the Eagles shot up to two-point favorites over the Chiefs. I think this has a lot to do with Patrick Mahomes' injury. Um, I will say that underdogs have had their day in recent Super Bowls, going 8-7 and seven straight up, 10-5 and five against the spread in the last 15 Super Bowls. The under has also been a cash cow as well um, for in the last four recent Super Bowls. So right now... It's a two-point spread. Eagles are the favorite, 49 and a half over under. What are your early leans? Uh, or, or how do you how do you what do you feel about this spread and this this total as it stands this morning? Me being on the show this month, normally I love being on the show on Mondays. Monday night football, I can't wait. I'm like raring to go. Me being on this show, I have barely had a chance to digest all the insanity yeah. and from last night. And I'm a, I'm immediately asked to react to this and give a analysis and a pick. A I lean. Can't a lean. A lean. Yeah. A lean. I know. Well, I'll tell you this much. We're two weeks out, Danny. No one's going to come back to this episode and be like, Danny, the Monday after you said this, like, don't, don't worry, Danny, we will ask you again. <laughs> I will. I will. I track my own record, but yeah. I will say right away. And I did this for the Niners Eagles game and I cashed it big. I'm going to do it for the Super Bowl too. You just mentioned unders have been a cash cow. Let's jump at this number right now. 49 and a half. 49, very key number. Think about seven touchdowns, right? Seven times seven, 49. So I like getting that hook there. And I did the same thing for the Eagles-Niners game. It was 45 and a half, 45, also a very key number when betting game totals. Ended up closing 46 and a half, went, or excuse me, go up to 46 and a half, went back down to 45 and a half. I feel like we could see similar movement with this total. So I'll jump at it now. If it goes up, I'll bet the under again. But I like unders in Super Bowls when the average Joe better is looking for offense and a good old time, right? And I'm looking for money and profit. So I'll take the under. Yeah. I mean, look, this is an early lean. Obviously, over the next two weeks, we're going to have multiple shows dedicated to the Super Bowl. So you'll get, you know, our sharp analysis then. But as far as early leans, I like the Chiefs money line on this one. So many people were on the Bengals in the last game. And every, you know, calling it, bur and by, by the way, thoughts and prayers to the mayor of Cincinnati, okay? I was watching that game last night, and I was like, this man must be sweating bullets because you went out and you did a whole press conference talking about how it's Burrow Wood and asking for a paternity test to see if Joe Burrow is Patrick Mahomes' daddy. Now, we did see that that uh, Travis Kelsey came out and, and, you know, gave the rock quote saying, shut your mouth, you jabroni or whatever it was. And that was hilarious. <laughs> but I was just, I had such secondhand embarrassment, right? One, when he did it, I thought it was cringe. And to, and to be fair, Bengals fans were not about that. They did not like that. They responded being like, what are you doing? You're embarrassing us. He came out and was like, hey, sorry, here you Bengals nation or whatever they call themselves. Like I was just getting excited and ahead of myself. Like that was just... Awful. He made so a holiday. He him. made it. He made a national holiday. It was they have to play us day. They have to play us day. They just now they just beat us day. Like that's embarrassing. You can't undo that. You you can't undo that, and you just can't get too far ahead of yourself like that. You could be confident in your team. You could have a day for them, but to to the paternity test part was the part where I was like, ooh. Ooh, and the burrow nope. head and the whatever it is. Now, look, this was a close game. It's not all of these games between the Chiefs and the Bengals have been decided by three points, every single one of them. So it's not like the Chiefs came out there and were like, oh, you know, like we totally beat whatever. They still won. It is what it is. Anyways, my point is Patrick Mahomes will not die. This guy won't die. I mean, we all thought that he was not going to be able to play this game or not be 100%. He's wasn't hundred percent, but you can't tell me that guy's not the best quarterback in the league. I mean, he just refuses to go down. And the last time they were in the Super Bowl, they were shut out by the, uh, by the bucks. And I just, I don't know. It just seems like storybook narrative, uh, the chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, everybody doubting him, call, you know, saying that he's Burrow's son and Burrow, all these things. And it's like, I don't know. You know, my my early lean, and look, maybe I'm salty about the Eagles too. Maybe I'm not willing to give them anything quite yet. That could be true too. This is an early lean. This may change. But right now, I like the Chiefs' money line. I feel like this is, I mean, we've been we've said it a number of times if I've ever called the Eagles imposters or maybe overrated perhaps. Like I'll say it again, this will be the hardest team they played all season. And uh, I wonder if this is finally the foil to them. I think, uh, I think Mahomes... 
you're right. Like this is, this is Tony Romo was talking about this on the broadcast that because his ankle was injured and because Burrow had beaten him three times. And the narrative is that he's not maybe the best player on the field and he's not expected to just walk through everyone and obviously beat everyone. It gave him a mental edge. It opened up, yes. you know, his freedom almost like, Oh, I, now some of the weight is off me. The best player in the world. Cool. Let me go be myself yeah. and do my thing. And they threw for 330 yards and you know, they won the game. Um, in, in a tight one, but I, I, I it's hard not what? to lean. I feel like the most popular, well. and I felt like one of the most popular prop bets was Mahomes under his passing yards. Nobody thought he was gonna, and it was like at like two seventy nine or something. Nobody thought he was gonna get over three hundred, and like you said, he, he went three hundred and thirty plus. 